When did you decide to become a chef? I was about 12, 13 years old. Well, you've been to Spain, in the Netherlands, Jamaica, yes. Russia. <laughs> and why did you start an academy in Warsaw? Uh, why I chose Poland because I was the first chef in the Bristol. We opened the Bristol Hotel in 1992, 5th December. And it's a prestige hotel and I'm, I love five-star hotels and old places, that's why. Okay, so you have been cooking for quite a few famous people. Can you name some of them? Some? Some. Ari Belafonte. Okay, Comandante Zero, um, the president of Ecuador, I was the chef by him, so um, Cyrus Vance here, some of our presidents here in Poland, Mr. Nixon. Okay, what is your favorite type of cuisine? Fast food. <laughs> Because as a chef, you don't have much time normally. Italian food. Teenagers crave frequently to eat sweets. How can we replace them? It's not only teenagers. <laughs> it's also sure. older people, you know. How? Go to the shop. Any shops. Which is the biggest section in the shop? For sweets. We have to start there. They are promoting the sweets too much. There is one shelf only with 100 types of chocolate, but there is a half a shelf of macarons, guys. So then we should stop there. Okay, we also have an urge to eat junk food. And what's your opinion about our ready-made food? Ready-made? Ready-made, convenience. Convenience. If you don't have time, it's good. Um, you cannot, uh, no, it's not a, listen, the industry done it because today's world we don't have time. It's not everything ready-made food is bad. You use this ready-made, like in the hotels as well, we have ready-made foods, we have sauces, we have bouillons ready-made, but these are basic things and you work with this, you make something else out of it, that's why. So you don't need to make a cooking a bouillon for three hours, you have it ready. But you put, you just don't eat this bouillon like this when it's the ready made, you put some vegetables inside of this. That's what this convenience food should be. Is there any key that turns your like ordinary food into something unique? Like any ingredient? No, it, it it's, has nothing to do with the ingredients, it has to do something with your imagination. Cooking is imagination, okay? Uh, do you think everyone is able to cook, regardless of age, abilities and equipment? Everybody is able, but not everybody should. <laughs> uh, uh, your name speaks for itself, but for the majority of youngsters, you are recognized by your incredible moustache. And when eating carcovin, don't they bother you? We just curious. Listen, I think. How should I? It's quite nice. It's not always nice, but I think it's quite nice. The young people recognize an old man on the street mm -hmm. to come to make or ask for a photo or something. I think it's quite nice. Um, sometimes it's maybe a little bit annoying. But that's the life which I choose. Um, I'm in the press, I'm in the TV and all this. This you have to live with it. But um, I, I tell you a small story. It's, it's not the best thing. I live, I live me in the center. Um, you know, the center is the red light district. I have a burden on top of me where I live. Yes, okay, I have no problem with that. But sometimes, the man's coming out to see me in the morning, I go four or five o'clock with the dog. Oh, you're my idol. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, this, it's nice that they recognize me, but I would not be coming out of the bulldog and say, I know you, you know? <laughs> mean like this, okay? Yeah, okay? Okay, so is the final question. Can you say something to our viewers to encourage them to cook and anything like that? 
Okay. Use good products. Don't buy cheap. Buy products which costs maybe a little bit more, but you have less wastage. And try taste the food before you serve it. It's most important. In Poland, what's the most expensive thing is salt. They don't put salt on the food. I know salt is not the most healthiest thing, but without the salt, the food don't open with the flavors. And don't think so always of Hotel Mama. I know Mama is good, <laughs> eh? but one day you are Hotel Mama. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I know you couldn't quite look.